Beta 1.8.1 is just around the corner. Beta 1.7.3 will be left behind. The game will be changing, in my opinion, for the worse. <laughs> um, gone will be the days of unstackable food, the old hunger system, the old lighting system. Chess will no longer take an entire block. They'll, they'll have opening and closing sounds and animations. And, and in general, things, things are going to change. And if I'm completely honest, I don't know how to feel about this. It's, it's, it's not in my comfort zone, you see. I play a lot of earlier Minecraft versions now. You see, I never played any versions between beta 1.8 and release 1.4 or so. So these versions of the game are very different to me because I won't know what they're like. I won't know the glitches that you can do. I won't know how the game really works. So it's going to be interesting, and I'm I'm not sure how to feel about this, but of course we're going to be moving forward with it. We're going to be moving along with all of our friends on the server here, and I think it's going to be a lot of fun. And of course we'll figure things out as we go. So if you'd like to join me for that, I welcome you to the new era of Minecraft. The adventure update is just around the corner. So let's jump right in to today's episode. Hello everyone, my name's Duration, and welcome back to Decennium SMP. And today we're going to be preparing guys because because beta 1.8 is just around the corner. That's right. We are going to be updating to beta 1.8 in the very near future. In fact, it's going to be this past Wednesday. So by the time you're watching this, the server will already be on beta 1.8, which is crazy to think about. Uh, the plan is that it's going to be updating on Wednesday of well, this week uh, when you're watching it. And uh, yeah, I want to be prepared for that. So in order to prepare for the new update, uh, I want to finish some projects that we've started and haven't finished, like the Underbros Tunnel over here uh, is still not quite done, at least on my part. So I want to finish that off. And you can tell here that I actually extended the delay on this door so we don't get caught in the door when it's closing, which is very nice. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to work on this tunnel right now, uh, but that is something that I definitely do want to do at some point. And then the roof of this area as well. Uh, I'm probably not going to work on that now, but that is something that we do need to get done as well. The goal for this episode is to clean up this upper area here, uh, get it looking all nice and clean. Uh, I'd like to keep some of the little Easter eggs that we've had uh, over time, like some of these signs that I moved from that area in the middle over there. I brought them out here. I'm going to keep those there. Uh, and also things like uh, this dispenser right here I'm probably going to keep because I thought that's kind of fun. And I would like to keep this hobbit hole as well. Now, it might uh, <laughs> it might get a little bit in the way. It looks like it's becoming nighttime. So let's quickly skip the night. So like I was saying, this might be a little bit in the way for what I'm planning to do uh, in this episode. I'm not certain. It, it might be okay. Uh, but I'm going to try to hold on to that. And that might still become part of the base uh, in the future. I know in one of my earlier episodes, uh, I was thinking about putting like a room underneath the water here so that like, you know, you could have a glass ceiling and you could see the water above you. And I still sort of want to do that. So I might kind of like make a tunnel coming out from my base and like a room underneath the water. And somehow we can connect that together. Maybe I'm not really a hundred percent certain how I'm going to use this but I still want to keep it because there's a lot of nostalgia for me uh, in this hut. I mean I've been using this little area here since I started on the server early this year so it's it's kind of special to me and I definitely want to hold on to it. Some ideas that I have and I guess I'll share them with you right now is I want to have a path around the perimeter of this base here. I'm probably going to do some sort of fancier door here. I'm not really sure, uh, you know, what I want to do here yet. Maybe we can do a piston door again. I'm not, 
I'm not too sure. I'm also beginning to find uh, some of my dogs around here. Um, this guy still doesn't listen to me, so I'm kind of convinced he's not mine. But this guy just kind of showed up, and I found this guy underground one time. Uh, he was he was underneath here somewhere. There's a big kind of open area underneath here somewhere, right? Because of uh, creeper explosions. So uh, I found him underground, uh, which is kind of funny. And I think I'm going to head over to uh, the clay stand over there because I think I heard that James had restocked. And I'm going to be getting back into my clay kick again because uh, I really want to finish the Underbros tunnels. Uh, it's been a project that we started uh, quite some time ago and it's still, it's still not done. Yeah, I think it's about time that we start getting back into getting some clay and getting that project all wrapped up. I've been spending a lot of time trying to organize all of my stuff in these chests and it's still taking a bit of time. Uh, but it's getting there. It's getting closer and closer every day. I uh, just work on little bits at a time, getting things done. But if we head on over to James's clay stand, and I definitely didn't use the warp like I always do every time getting over here, uh, we can see that we um, wait free, free cake, um, or never mind. It's it's fur cake. It's it's fur, fur cake. I don't know. I don't know, uh, so wait, so is there fur? Is it literally fur? Anyways, uh, James is going for the, uh, customer appreciation method, I guess, you know, like, draw in the people with free cake, and then sell them clay. So even if you don't want clay, you can't help it because you see the cake, you know? It's, it's a flawless plan, I see, I see through this exactly, but anyways, I guess we should, um, I guess we should, um... I guess, I guess we're, if we're not getting clay today, uh, wait, clay, clay today, but that's okay, clay today, but that's okay, clay today, <laughs> I think I found a slogan, um, clay, clay today, and, and that's okay, James, I, I've got a slogan for you, but, but it's gonna cost you some clay, so, so take it or leave it, <laughs> selling marketing skills, look at, look at me go, look at me go, um, um, is someone, is someone messing around with the roads? Is there any more of these? Why is there stairs? Why? I'm, I'm so confused. <laughs> but we have a lot of things to do, so I think we better do that in the form of a third person time lapse because, uh, why not? And when I say we have a lot of things to do, I mean we have a ton of things to do, like, I'm not even joking, this is going to take me a good couple hours, so feel free to sit back, relax, maybe grab some popcorn, um, if you have popcorn, uh, because this is going to be a bit of a longer time lapse. Let's roll it.
Okay, everyone, and I hope you enjoyed that uh, third-person time-lapse. Uh, that was a ton of work, uh, a ton of work, but it looks absolutely amazing, so I'm super happy with, you know, how things turned out here. It looks so cool with this nice pathway around here, these lampposts, and as you saw, we got the on-a-rail achievement, uh, thanks to Mono actually building the uh, North Railroad track, which is super cool. So we are able to get the on a rail uh, achievement uh, thanks to him. And uh, you might be a little bit confused as to what's going on right now because as, as you know, um, I'm not supposed to be able to see my face in, in this version of Minecraft. Uh, the F5 button does not toggle to your front facing camera. So you might be a little bit confused as to how I'm looking at the camera like this. And there's a little secret, a little trick that uh, I was kind of, I guess, taught, or I don't know if I was taught specifically, but I, I figured it out, I guess, uh, thanks to Migsy. Uh, Migsy actually sent me, uh, actually it's the same Migsy that wrote this sign. Uh, Migsy actually sent me a skin of mine, my, my skin, but it was backwards. And then I was thinking, wow, you know, backwards skin means I can face the camera. So, so look at me, I'm facing the camera, even though technically what you are seeing is the back of my head. It's actually a reversed uh, copy of my skin, entirely reversed. And uh, yeah, now I can look at the camera. So this is actually my camera account, uh, as you can probably tell. Uh, let's uh, take uh, F5 off and go back like this. See, if you go like this, <laughs> the cursor still appears over my face. So I have to do F1 as well, otherwise the cursor stays there. But uh, if we go... F5, F1. You can see here my regular account is right here, and then my camera account has the reverse skin. So I can do a few cuts every once in a while with my camera account, uh, just going like this, and I can talk to the camera. Now there is, there is one other thing about this. You know, arms are broken. I I break behind me, so that's that's very weird. I walk very funny. So if I walk forward, you walk straight when you're going forward, but when you're going backwards, it puts you in an angle. So that's why that looks weird. And there's one other thing. There's one other thing that's that's uh, might be very scarring, but uh, I'm gonna show it. I'm gonna show it. This is what happens when I shift. <laughs> I don't know if I can show this on camera, <laughs> but that is absolutely hilarious. So yeah, I won't be shifting in this perspective. This is the only time you're gonna see this. So. So get your screenshots now, turn it turn it into a meme, whatever you want to do. You're not going to see this again, unless maybe I do it by accident. In which case, I'd probably laugh so hard that I keep it in anyways. But 
yes, so we do have this new little little thing to mess around with. We can look at the camera before we can look at the camera. And I'm going to have to stop punching too because it looks so weird when I punch. Uh, but yeah, the tree farm has definitely become a very useful resource, especially uh, with, you know, building those pathways and such. I was using a lot of wood. And in fact, I was actually getting kind of impatient and just growing it with bone meal. Uh, so that does remind me that I should head over to the shopping area with a bit of iron for a second and buy some more bones because I am getting a little bit low. Now, I do know that I can probably AFK at generic PNP's mob farm. I think he's given permission to do so. So I could also do that. Uh, but I do know that Favorito is also selling bones. So maybe I'll buy uh, a couple bones from Favorito and then I'll also set my I don't know if I can set my camera account otherwise I'll just set my main account over at generic PMP's mob farm for a little bit and we'll just collect up some mob drops and I guess while we're at the uh, shopping district area um, I want to just see if maybe maybe James has been on no he hasn't no more clay so that also reminds me that I'll probably be streaming uh, again and uh, that does mean that, I guess I could probably say it now, that I have streamed, even though I haven't done it yet. I will have <laughs> by the time this is, uh, you know, uh, a video. So be sure to check out that stream if you want. I'm probably going to do some clay hunting again because uh, we want to wrap up those underbros tunnels. Uh, but what is... Wait, what's this? Warehouse. I... I everything. I... I everything I for one iron I per slot. I'm I'm very confused. Wait, are these is this oh maybe this is supposed to be an arrow. <laughs> Warehouse. Everything for one iron per slot. Oh. Okay, hold on. So how much are bones? Uh 16 per one iron. Okay. Let's head down here though. Is this death? I don't think it is. I don't think he'd be that mean is to kill me with death uh we've got sand we've got dirt uh unused unused what Un it's unused air i guess it's air blocks <laughs> and we got cobble as well uh so i guess yeah just some kind of building blocks if you're ever short i mean i'm probably not gonna ever need to buy that because i feel like i've got so much <laughs> uh but you never know maybe maybe there's going to be a day uh, but yeah, this is logs and bookshelves. In fact, I could have bought uh, logs here as well, which could have been pretty good. But I'm going to buy a whole bunch of bones, actually. I think I'm going to buy like, yeah, I think I'm going to buy six uh, kind of slots or whatever. Uh, but yeah, we now we've got some bones so that we can turn that into bone meal and make more trees in, in the future. And you know what? I'm going to be a good, good Samaritan and I'm going to fix this because this is actually kind of bothering me. So there we go, problem solved. And thanks to the stream last night, we now have a good amount of bricks here, which we can craft up into uh, bricks, I guess, brick brick blocks. <laughs> uh, I'm, there's not really much else you can do with bricks. Yeah, we're, we're, we're getting very close to uh, completing the hallways, but you know, we need to finish them because very close is not good enough. Uh, now I'm not really certain how many bricks we have left in the headquarters over there. So we maybe we should go over there for a quick second. In fact, actually, you know what? I'm going to take these with me and drop them off there so that uh, Steel can finish off his portion of the tunnel, I guess. And uh, maybe I'll help him out uh, if I've got some free time because, you know, I'm I'm nice <laughs> and, and I'm willing to help a neighbor out here. <laughs> wow, this tunnel is really long. Okay, and here we are at the Under Bros headquarters. <laughs> and uh, let's see how much bricks we have. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, we have plenty. Look at all this clay that needs to be smelted up, too. The point is, is that we should have about seven or eight stacks of bricks, which we do. So that's going to be enough to finish off the remaining uh, tunnel here. And I think Apple was actually pretty much done with his part of the tunnel. So we're pretty much finished with the with the tunnels besides the ceilings 
and the floors, but I don't think we really decided uh, what block we wanted to use for the ceiling or the floor. So I'm not really sure what we're doing with that. Maybe we're doing wooden planks, which wouldn't be a horrible material to do. Either that, or maybe we just leave it as stone and, uh, you know, we can patch up any of the holes and, you know, get rid of the cobblestone and make it all solid uh, smooth stone. We could do that too. Uh, but yeah, this is this is pretty much good. I guess I'll leave a sign here because uh, because because I can leave a sign, you know, any excuse to leave a sign. It, it's worth it. It's it's worth it. And of course, I need to put one more sign pointing to the other sign to say, read that sign over there. And then you read the sign over there and then you read, you know, you, you get your stuff. It's, it's all it's it's a very good system here that I have. The more signs, the better. There's something else that concerns me as well with updating to beta 1.8 within the next uh, day or so on the server is that uh, there's there's rumors going around that a lot of the biomes around spawn are going to be they're they're going to become swamp. Yeah, I'm I'm really hoping that my base doesn't turn into a swamp because that means that all my grass is going to look brown and ugly and. I'm really not looking forward to that. I like my lush green grass outside my base. So I've come up with a method. I've come up with a method that I'm hoping will uh, mitigate these types of issues. Now I'm going to take down this cobblestone pillar that I built on. Well, it was probably day one on this server because I'm going to replace it with a moss stone pillar. Now the idea is that the moss stone is going to absorb all the swampiness uh, that that's going to come <laughs> with the next uh, update. So if the swamp is targeted for my base here, I'm hoping that you know that the, the pillar will absorb all the swampness. It will solve all my problems, and you know I'll be a happy I'll be a happy camper. Now I'm going to put this block of iron on top because we need to get this struck by lightning. <laughs> now I'm not certain how easy that's going to be. Uh, but I'm hoping that it will be possible. I'm going to stick some redstone torches here to kind of attract the lightning. I'm going to leave the top of the pole open because I think the lightning will strike it better if I if I leave that open. And uh, we have to wait till it rains, pretty much. And hopefully, uh, once it strikes, the, the power will surge down through this pole into the ground. And I'll spread out some redstone wires a little bit around my base here to hopefully distribute that power and hopefully we can jump off this without dying there we go and hopefully it will distribute the power through the land and kind of you know prevent uh swamp <laughs> so i'm going to get this a little bit set up here uh i'm going to stick uh some repeaters coming off the bottom of here to kind of you know boost the signal i guess or maybe i just need one i probably just need one and we'll just spread out some redstone wires here. We'll just kind of go this way, you know, just just spreading it out, spreading the joy of not swampness. And uh, and hopefully this will solve the swamp problem. Hopefully it doesn't hopefully it doesn't do the opposite effect. It it it, it might. And I don't know until we update really. Uh, so so we'll find out, I guess. But I'm going to lay out these wires and then we'll jump back and see how it's looking. Okay, so I've got the redstone line kind of on right now. It's just being tested. In fact, I don't know how it's being on anymore because I uh, I broke the source. Uh, but there. Now, it's not going all the way around the whole base, but I think if it strikes right here, you know, it would kind of it would kind of surge through the ground and cover cover most of this area. I don't know. I guess we'll find out. Now, basically, we have to wait for it to rain, and then we have to hope that this gets struck by lightning, uh, which might be a bit of a long shot. I have a feeling that it will happen because, you know, big tall pole with with metal on top uh, usually attracts lightning. Oh, look at that. It's raining. And now we just have to wait for our lightning pole here to be struck by lightning. And hopefully it will happen sooner rather than later. Uh, but yes, hopefully this will be a thunderstorm.
But of course, we're going to be moving on to beta 1.8.1 in the next episode. You'll have to wait until then to see what happens because, you know, it's, it's always better to keep things on a little bit of suspense. But anyways, aside from that, I want to say a huge thank you to everyone who has been watching these videos. I have really greatly enjoyed making them. And you know what? I was looking, I was looking at the numbers as I do every once in a while on YouTube. And we're almost at 200 subscribers, which is, which is crazy. Because just earlier this year, I hit 100 subscribers. So a massive thank you to everyone who's been subscribing. I hope you have been enjoying the content. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of stuff to come up around the corner, lots of things to do, and uh, I'm really excited to see where things go in the future. But a massive thank you to everyone for watching today's video. If you enjoyed today's video and you'd like to see more like it, of course you can subscribe for notifications, uh, because that way you'll see when I release new videos, and you'll also receive notifications when I live stream. And of course, I do those live streams on Monday around 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time or uh, Eastern Daylight Time, I guess, right now with Daylight Savings. So if you want to tune in, you know, check me out around those times. <laughs> I also have a Discord server, so if you're interested in chatting, the link to that and more can be found in the video description. But thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next episode.